G'day everyone, just down here by the Leven River in Tasmania and I'm going to talk to you about how good the new Primal Zone 10 foot 2 weight is for small stream dry fly fishing in Tasmania. So some really great features of the Primal that makes it perfect for this style of fishing. Firstly, being a 2 weight, it's super soft, it's super delicate, perfect for landing those dry flies nice and softly on the water. So the really thin grip is perfect for all sizes of hands. I think sometimes rods end up with two thicker grips, which doesn't suit everyone. This is just right for me. So the matte black finish of the Primal is perfect for Tasmanian rivers because it has no shine at all and it won't flash around in the sun. So my leader section is made up of six different pieces of monofilament. So I've got short sections of thick tippet and then progressively getting longer sections of thin tippet. And then at the end of it, I've got a micro ring, which is where I attach my tippet. So tippet for your dry fly, you cannot beat the Trout Hunter fluorocarbon. It's 7X and it's simply the best tippet on the market. So to quickly get weighted up and go hit the river. Well, this looks like the perfect spot to start. We've got a nice shallow pool. We've got a little bit of a riffle heading up to the run at the top of the pool. So I'm gonna start here, work my way up through. So Tassie's such a classic. Even though the fish aren't rising, I've seen the odd one, but they're not really rising. They're always looking up, so you can just blind search. So I'm just gonna do short casts, short drifts. See if I can't get one to come up and eat it. One. Very nice. And that fish, as you can see, that fish was super close to the bank. And that's such a classic for Tassie Browns. Beautiful measuring fish. And just come down and slurp down that dry. Lovely fish. What better way would you want to spend your day out on a Tassie River? There he is. Lovely. So as you can see, I didn't strike super quickly. You never want to strike super quickly with these browns, they're a fairly slow take. Beautiful fish, I'd be super happy with that in a comp. Got to be one there. So one thing in Tassie, you can't be too scared of casting really, really shallow. You might not see them there, but they'll just appear and they'll eat you dry. Ah, oh, he's right underneath it. Come on. Eats it. Ah, oh, I missed him. <laughs> that was awesome. When that happens, he actually ate the fly, but he's not going anywhere. I didn't prick him. I'm going to change flies and give it to him again. Going from a little ant to an F fly, I think. Interesting, you could put that same fly over him a stack of times and he won't eat it. But changing flies just gives him something new, gives him a chance to rest, and he should come back. There he is, got him. It was interesting, I'd left that fish, I'd missed him, and then I changed flies, and he didn't want it, and I gave him a couple of minutes rest, and he came back and ate it again. Man, he's taking a bit of line, he's got a bit of go. Hey, hey, hey. It's interesting, you wanna get below your fish. You never wanna fight them downstream, at least fighting them upstream you're not trying to pull them up against the current and he is one fit little fish that's really cool beautiful tassie brown 
But I just absolutely love being out on these rivers. Beautiful sunny day, just blind fishing dries. He is a stunning fish, that is super cool. And see now how I'm fighting the fish upstream. So when I go to net the fish, I can just slide him down in with the current and there's no pressure because they got a really light tippet. You don't want any excess force on that tippet. All right, we've got the fish coming into the net now. Just sliding him down with the current. Get him in. He is a stunner, that's a cracking fish. Now Tasmania is famous for beautiful wild brown trout and that is a stunning example. So much fun just fishing dries on these rivers. I just can't get enough. What a cool fish. So we've got a few to eat it out of this stretch. Or again, we'll move up through this bit and head up to the next spot. So just come up to a new stretch of river. Down below I was fishing the right hand side so I needed to cast on my right shoulder. Up here I'm fishing the left hand side so I need to cast over my left shoulder. That way I get the perfect drift. I've had quite a few casts through some really good water. I think it's time to change flies. Deer hair sedge it is. First cast with a new fly, or well, second cast, one comes up and eats it. And I missed it. I really should change flies. Give him something else. My wife tied me that deer head sedge this morning and it looks like it's a winner. Eats it. That was really cool. And once again, just shows you the importance of changing flies. If you see a fish and miss it, he's still gonna be there chances are he'll come back and eat it again. That's cool as. It's gonna clear my line. There's no point getting it tangled around your legs. Get that fish upstream of you. And then he should be easy to net. There he is. Nice. That was really fun. Super happy with that one. Now I'd like a dollar for every fish that I've caught on this two weight primal. It is just sensational. Thanks for eating my dry fly, little buddy. Straight back in the run. So to get your fly drifting drag free, you want a long section of, in this instance, 7X tippet. So that's about five feet, and there's another couple of feet on that. So that's seven feet of straight 1.0 on the end of my tapered leader, which makes that dry drift drag free. So I really can't stress it enough. You just need to do short drifts. Be in control with your fly. And you really want that drag free drift and you're not gonna get that with a really long cast. So this is a little bit marginal water. It's gonna work through it really quickly. Move up to the next bit. So I'm back casting over my right shoulder so that my leader curves to the right, which creates an upstream loop and allows my fly to drift down naturally. Got 
Got him. That was awesome. Just shows the importance of those drag free drifts. Just gonna clear that line up. I actually really like the Lampson Speedster for that reason because it clears the line very, very quickly. Beautiful, smooth drag. You can play those fish out on those light tibbets. Come on, buddy. Beautiful fish. In you come. If I was in a comp, I would be absolutely loving that. Check out this fish. It's such an effective tactic. Just fishing blind with dries in Tasmania on the rivers. It's been a really good comp technique over the years. And it's one that I thoroughly enjoy. All right, Dean, off you go. So the 10 foot two weight primal, such a sensational rod for light line dry fly fishing. Can't recommend it enough.